Hello, what is up, all you beautiful people? I, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Um, I hope things are going okay. So we're going to try this again. I'm, I'm a little higher energy tonight. Just just a little bit more. Not going to be um, quite as low energy as I was last night. So we're going to play this. We're going to do the same thing I was going to do last night, but this time it's going to be a bit more um, up and uh, up and going. So let's see here. So this game is called Fate of the World. So this was something I used to play a lot back in university. Uh, this was kind of like the OG, if you're familiar with that term. That's the term the kids use for like the, um, the original. I think it means original gangster. It also just means original. OG. So, um, cool cigarettes gives me a heart. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so this was, this was 2011, this game came out and for, for, um, kind of comparison's sake, Depression Quest came out in like 2013. So this was like back before we really even had, uh, the modern social justice movement. So this is kind of like OG. So I kind of wanted to share this with you guys. Because this is pro possibly the hardest video game I've ever played. At least it's definitely the hardest strategy game I've ever played. Uh, it's it's like impossible. I um, have never been able to beat a game of this without using cheats. So like I tried again earlier today. And oh, okay I used to be Retid's... Uh, Reticent American, been watching you since the Adam Walser. Oh yeah, Reticent American, I remember you. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. I, I am always happy to meet someone who's been around for a while. I was just saying again. Right, so instead of playing this game and just watching me fail through it, because it's not even entertainingly, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using an unlimited money cheat, but I'm going to be trying to play it realistically. If that makes any kind of sense. I, I'm going to be trying to make the sort of decisions uh, limited by what you could actually achieve IRL. Uh, before, though, I'd just like to play a clip from Two Best Friends that I think summarizes the obscurity and shittiness of this game. How do you find piece of shit games that no one even knows exists and then, oh man, let's play! It's just so great! You know why? Uh, do you know why I get those? This is garbage. Because I used to serve with the British Special Forces. <laughs> no, you didn't. I climbed no, the summit of Mount Everest. Shut up. Know it. Okay, there we go. That was when they were playing Man vs. Wild. I, I just always think it's funny. We'll talk about climate change. Okay, so this is Fate of the World. Okay, so this was the only one I managed to beat, which was the Rise of Africa, because it's the tutorial level. So basically your goal is you're like the head of the UN climate change nonsense and it's your job to try to uh, save the world um, with a variety of different ways. So there's a whole bunch of different scenarios. So Rise of Africa's tutorial, Oil Fix It is, uh, okay, so keep drilling and use the oil to pay for defenses against climate change. So in this one, you have to not, um, you're not trying to stop global warming. You're trying to keep oil flowing indefinitely. So that's, that's the one scenario. Uh, then we have fuel crisis, which is uh, you start off at peak oil. Then there's cornucopia where... Uh, let's see here. Uh, you have a immense amount of oil. Uh, let's see what else is there. Denial, where there's um, no tolerance for any of the methods you have to undertake. And let's see, Earth Day. Uh, this is the an easier one under which everyone just commits to global warming. Uh, three degrees. This one I think is the hardest one. There's the flood. And then there's... Okay, Serp, I'm gonna, like, time you out if you keep spamming Thrill Kill. 
Uh, let's see. And then there's Dr. Apocalypse where you're trying to destroy the world. So I think what I'll do is I'll play uh, Three Degrees because that's kind of the main uh, campaign mission. I, I, the, the main campaign, I suppose you could say. Um, I'm not going to put on easy mode because I'm using a money cheat. Okay, so I want to be known as Argent Master. Argent. Okay, let's see here. When environmental collapse cannot be ignored. Okay, this this is really shitty, so let's look at it. Okay, so this game is really weird. So, uh, it, it's kind of a clusterfuck how they were... They designed this. So, like, what you have here is... I don't know, Serp, if you want to do a stream, I guess we could do a stream now. I, um... Anyways, if, if you want to just... Oh, no, right, you, your Facebook's down. Okay, just send me a thing on Discord if you wanted to do something. Okay, so in this game you have agents, so you're limited to what you can do in each region by the number of agents you have. I don't know why they thought this was a good design idea, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit myself to what I think is a realistic amount of stuff that you can do in each area. So I'm going to give myself the maximum number of agents in Japan, Europe, uh, Australia, and the other developed countries of the world. And I'm going to give myself like one or two actions in the poorer countries of the world. Uh, let's see here. Um, just give me a minute. Uh, coal free industry. I'm just giving my cheating to give myself some money. Okay, so I'm going to give myself full agents in North America. In Africa, I'm going to give myself two because Africa has absolutely no uh, resources, basically. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Let's see here. Okay, I'll I'll get it. It just takes a while to get this game set up. Okay, so I will give myself two in Africa, two in Southern Africa, three in the Middle East. Four in India, three in Southeast Asia, and uh, four in Latin America, and maybe f five in China and Russia. I'm just, uh, I'm trying to base it on how many I think, um, like the, the actual capacity of the different regions to deal with things. So let's see here. Sorry, it'll get better in a minute. I just have to get this set up. Okay, so I'll give Russia five, Oceania five, and China I'll give four to. Okay, I think that's a fair number. Okay, so you get a whole bunch of different options for what you want to do with each region. So there, there's a bunch of cards which are different policies. So the one that I always use, so the idea is you're trying to um, prevent global warming and transition the world away from fossil fuels. So it was an interesting idea for a game. I just don't think it really worked out very well. So you have all the nations of the, the, the parts of the world and you have to keep them happy or stable enough. And if they want to leave the program, you can perform coups against them uh, to keep them in. So we're going to try a bunch of, to um, see what we can do. There's a bunch of different policies. So what I normally like to do is protect land, soil, and forest. So this is one where you just reforest uh, large portions of the country and stuff like that. Can you, you, you use your position to deliberately slow economic and population growth in certain regions? Yes, you can. And we'll be doing that. Okay, so I always do that because reforestation, I think, is something you can do pretty much anywhere in the world and would be... I, is there any, like, downside to reforesting areas? I don't think there is any downside. I think it's pretty much always a good thing. So then there's different options you can open up. So we have 
Uh, these are like for research projects or specific things. So we have environmental, political, energy, technology, and welfare. So this is North America. So I'm going to say that environmental, um, technology, and energy make sense for this part of the world. I think those are things that could realistically happen. And then I'm going to say switch transport to electricity. I think that's something that could feasibly happen in North America. And I will also go with uh, bid for Geo HQ. So I think that's the logical place. So Japan, I'm going to say um, commit to nuclear. Because I think that's probably the most logical one for Japan. And then I'm going to say switch... Tra transport to, ele to electricity. Japan's a very densely populated urban country. Okay, so Oceania. I think Australia. I don't really know too much about Australia's energy policies, but I'd imagine with how big the country is and how little population it has, it shouldn't really be that much of an issue. Okay, so now we're getting to some of the interesting ones. So I'm going to limit myself to two cards in Africa because I think there's very little you could do at a meta level here. There just isn't enough organization. So I'm going to do political and welfare for both Northern and Southern Africa. I think I'm going to do. Uh, yes, you can block out the sun with chemical artillery. I think that is actually possible in this game. Okay, regional welfare office and political office. Okay, so in Europe, we'll just say I can do energy. Actually, welfare would make sense because it's Europe. I'll do that. And um, switch to electricity. Okay, those are all, I think, things that are possible for Russia. Okay, reforestation is fine. I don't think oil is, is a feasible... I don't think getting rid of oil is a feasible thing in Russia. I think technology is fine. Um, Russia, you'd never be able to pass um, synthetics there, so there's. I don't think it would really be fair for me to do that. So I'm going to say nuclear. One of the dumb things in this game is you can run out of uranium, and I don't think that's like a thing. Isn't there like enough uranium for like a thousand years? Uh, I don't think that that's really a um, like a thing to be honest okay so we have china so i think china will say um we'll have welfare technology and energy i'm not going to give myself environmental protection here because it's china and china's economy is too strong for that okay i already did japan southeast asia once again i'm limiting myself here because i just don't think there's the level of uh, let's see here. Do you still follow Bob, Bob Babs in any capacity? He appears on the Luke Ford show sometimes. Best alt, alternative right-wing podcast on YouTube at the moment, in my opinion. Uh, I occasionally talk to Babs. Uh, there, it's not like we there's any issue between us. I mean, he's a great guy. I'd say we're still friends. He just, he just kind of disappears for long periods of time, and I just haven't really talked to him lately. But... Um, maybe I'll see if he's around sometime. I'd like to have him back on. He's he's a good guy. It, it's interesting because he's a Mizrahi Jew, I guess you would say. Um, well, he's Babylonian Hebrew because he's an Iraqi. He's like, I think, half Iraqi Jew, half something else. But because he's not Ashkenazi and he doesn't come, his people don't come from, like, Europe he's just he's a he's a, a lot like he doesn't have any of kind of the cultural baggage that uh western jews do he, he's not nearly as um i guess you could say angry uh, okay so middle east okay regional energy is fine i'm gonna go with that and political and then for india I'm going to say commit to nuclear forests. Uh, environmental protection isn't going to happen, so I'll do political and welfare. And I think that's good. Oh, no, and I'll do Latin America. So for here, I'm going to say renewables actually make sense in 
Latin America because a lot of countries in Latin America get all of their electricity from renewable. I think Uruguay gets something like 80% of its, um, I forget if it's Paraguay or Uruguay or both, get like 80% of their power from hydro. Okay, uh, let's see here. And we can also have a... I'm not sure if tech... Is Latin America developed enough to have, like, high-tech solutions to problems? I don't really think so, so I might just give myself welfare and environment for this part of the world. Let's see, anti-troll says Costa Rica is, like, 90% renewables. Yeah, in Ontario, if you include nuclear as a renewable, Ontario gets virtually all of its power from nuclear and hydro. <clears throat> Geo analysis have confirmed that global oil production is falling, rise in Arctic methane, global population, geo headquarters, advanced drilling. Okay. Uh, okay, so emission levels are going down at the moment. And okay, so my support is decreased in some parts of the world and increased in others. So let's see here. Let's start off in North America. So let me think, what would people try to do? International Climate Refugee Treaty. Grant refugee status to migrants displaced by environmental collapse. Yep, this this is definitely a um, an SJW game. This is definitely early on. Climate refugees. Okay, so let's see here. What would they do in North America? Maybe coal. I'm going to say, um, hmm. Okay, energy research I definitely think is a North American thing. And I'm going to say, okay, there's a space program. I'll do that. Uh, yes, information technology is a North American thing. And I'm also going to go with, where's biotechnology? I think biotechnology is also probably something you'd see in North America. Uh, let me see, where is it? Biotech. Okay, next we're going to do Japan. And to me, I associate Japan with robotics. And let's see here. Um, I guess materials. I don't really associate Jan with Japan with biotechnology as much as some other stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, anyways, as I was saying, um, as I've been kind of talking about, with regards to what do I think about global warming, um, I don't think it's... I don't... I have... I'm kind of agnostic about anthropomorphic global warming. Or rather, how much of global warming is caused by anthropomorphic um, causes. Like, like how much of it is actually due to um, humanity and how much of it is just natural. Because the climate naturally changes over time. Um, okay, so in Europe, I think, yeah, water management, I think, is, is something they come up with. Um, let's see here. What else would Europe do? Ban cloth rates. Well, I mean, it's like it's there's a wide range of, I guess, kind of different views you can take on it. Like, is it entirely uh, anthropomorphic? Is it partially anthropomorphic? It's, it's kind of hard to, um, to, to really tell. I guess for my part, I, I think it's, uh, it's maybe like 10 to 20% anthropomorphic. The, the biggest issue with um, global warming is it's not falsifiable. Like there's nothing that could happen that would disprove global warming. In fact, because global warming was disproved, they changed the name of it to climate change. They're like, uh, no, it's it's not global warming anymore. It's it's uh it's climate change now. Uh, that's 
that's totally what it is it's 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 not the world heating up it's it's the increase in any sort of um okay russia is going to expand oil production because it's russia it's it's any sort of um increase or change in the climate etc Okay, so in China, I'm going to say China would build more oil. So I'm, I'm trying to limit myself to what I think realistically would happen. Uh, let's see here. Where's one-child policy? Okay, so China, I'm going to have a one-child policy because it's China. And let's see what else makes sense. Transportation efficiency investment. Yes, okay. China would definitely have that. So that's what I'll do for China this turn. Uh, let's see here. Southeast Asia. Okay, I'm going to impose a one-child policy on Southeast Asia. And I'm going to introduce political office. Uh, Oceania. I'm going to go with... I'm trying to think, like, what kind of technology do I associate with Australia? I guess advanced materials and... Anyway, so back to what I think about it. So I, my my general opinion has always been it's kind of irrelevant whether or not anthropomorphic global warming is a real thing. I, I think fossil fuels are just kind of bad in general. So I, I think it's, it's a good idea to um, try to move away from them. Because, I mean, they do a lot of other shit. Uh, it causes political instability. It makes uh, countries dependent upon other countries for something very basic to the economy. Uh, for a while, at least, America had to try to um, uh, like prop up various countries throughout the world. India, r relax borders. That's funny. Let's see here. I'm going to impose a one-child policy in India. And I'm going to uh, fund law enforcement. So I'm going to fund secret police in India. Let's see here. The Middle East. I'm going to provide security assistance. Uh, security assistance meaning I'm going to send U.S. soldiers in to occupy parts of it. And I'm going to expand oil production. In Southern Africa, I'm going to impose a one-child policy. To reduce uh, population growth and I'm also going to uh, let's see here what else makes sense in Africa I will do a let's see job sharing relocation and assistance Uh, I'll put in reforestation, although I don't know if that's really... No, reforestation isn't politically possible in, in, South, in Africa. Um, I could do education, environmental protection. I'll do fun black ops. We'll see what black ops lets you do. Uh, let's see, Latin America. What could I reasonably do here? Okay, higher education. I think that's something they'd be investing in. Uh, let's see, cap and trade. Regional energy. I just don't see energy as really being a thing. I will do... Let's see, I guess... Turn bo incentivize people to turn biomass into charcoal and blend the product into soils. Yeah, that sounds like the kind of thing they do in Latin America. Anyways, as I was saying, though, like, I, I don't think it really matters whether or not global anthropomorphic global warming is a real thing. I, I think regardless, there's a lot of reasons. <clears throat> Tighten borders, strengthen borders to make it harder for people to seek refuge in North Africa. Fuck them. I don't care about North Africa. Uh, let's see here. I want to impose one child policy there and I also want to 
introduce education for women because education for women will help to lower the, the global birth rate. Like, if you look at a city, like, because I know in Toronto at my office, if we have the window open, the window sills will become black. They're so stained with soot from all the, um, the emissions from all the cars. Like, lots of people die every year in uh, Toronto and other major cities from just how much smog is generated from just all the cars. I mean, you just have all kinds of other shit like gas does immense amounts of damage to the environment. Like, you just think about, like, all the oil and runoff and shit that gets into the water system and, like... I'm not even talking about, like, big disasters. I'm just saying, like, someone knocks over a gas can or something. Like, it's, it's a very dirty, um, unpleasant source. T to me, though, I think the solution to fossil fuel use is we just need more efficient batteries... And we need ways of getting um, electricity that don't require fossil fuels. So, let's see here. Smart grid breakthrough. Okay, cool. Okay, so North America. Let's see, what do we have here? I want to introduce smart grids here. I definitely think that that's something you could easily do in North America. Uh, let's see here. Global ban nuclear fission. Global ban unconventional oil. Global ban natural gas. Uh, let's see here. Clathrate deposits. I don't know what clathrate even is. Uh, let's see. Expand coal production. Expand oil production. What? Manned mission to Mars. Could allow the colonization of Mars. SETI orbital array. Constructing this will answer the question of whether or not we are alone. What the fuck? You can, you like, you can get aliens to come and save the world? What kind of shit is this? <laughs> okay, I had to go with man mission to Mars. We're going to pretend that Trump is in power. Okay, so let's see. Wildlife conservation, synthetic oil. Um... What else would be possible in Europe? Uh, I think coal-free industry is definitely something that I could see them doing in Europe. In Russia... Let me think. Okay, acquire smart grids. That's good. Okay, I'm done with Russia for the turn. Let's go to China. Uh, yeah, smart grids is fine. China is kind of weird on these issues. I, I think one day what's just going to happen in China is the government's just going to decide that they're they're done with all the um, like the nonsense, like with the environment, and they're just going to send out like Communist Party officials, and um, and they'll just blow up. They'll just send out tanks, and the tanks will just blow up all of the. Um, uh, Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought there. Uh, let's see, Middle East. I forget, did I say fun black ops in the Middle East? I don't know if I've done black ops here yet. Um, okay, fun black ops. Have I ever watched Trigun? No, I haven't. Although, interestingly, I think the writer of Trigon is a Christian. I think they're one of the few Christian writers in um, in anime. Because Christianity always uh, features very prominently in anime, but it's I don't think very many of them are actually... Very many of the involved people are actually Christian. Oh, man. This is fucking woke. People in this region are having far too many babies. If we dose the water supply with contraceptives for the next five years, we should be able to put a break on things. Authorize covert sterilization. 
Yes, I'm sterilizing Africa. Fucking based. <laughs> that is... Okay, I'm gonna have to do that in North Africa, too. Fucking, like... This game is woke. Okay, not... Okay, let's see here. Black Ops in the Middle East. Latin America. Okay, Latin America is going along okay. Uh, Oceania. Cancel that in favor of... Can I adopt smart grids here yet? Hmm. I don't think... There we go. Smart grids. Uh, let's see here. Russia. Okay, Europe. Okay, I think Europe's probably okay as it is. North America, I'm researching a whole bunch of shit. Energy program. Japan is... Uh, I'll get rid of synthetic oils in Japan and maybe I'll introduce some other technology or something else. Uh, let's see. Cap and trade. Uh, I think I'll go with Infotech program research in Japan. Okay, so let's move along to the next year. Global gas production is falling. Uh, situation in North Africa critical. Scientists, scientists in Japan have announced that carbon capture and sequestration technology is ready for implementation. Really, why did it crash in Russia? That's weird. We'll see what's going on there. Okay, so I'm going to implement... Uh, let's see here. Carbon capture, dequest... Yeah. Uh, Recrustation. Ah, uh, let's see here. Switch to organic farming, water program management. Uh, storm flood and coast defenses. Yeah, North America definitely needs that. Let's see your Latin America. What can I do here? Reduces working week. That does sound very Latin American. Uh, let's see here. I'll build a political office here, I guess. North Africa. Okay, I'm going to go with fund deep black ops. Fund insurgency campaign. Political instability. Make them more biddable. Regime change. The leaders of this region are un un unacceptably inimical to the GEO. Have, it, have, it, have them replaced with more biddable alternatives. Set outlook to green and increase support. Okay, I'm going to launch a coup there. Uh, let's see. Middle East. Middle East. What can I do here? What would make sense? Disinformation diverts attention from your actions. Uh, I'm going to carry out Covert Sterilization there. I'm going to carry out Covert Sterilization in India. Let's see here. In Australia. Hmm. Maybe I'll open up another office here. A, uh, I'll open up a welfare office there. Uh, let's see here. Southeast Asia. We're going to do Covert Sterilization. Oh, no, I, I haven't done it there. You literally just the U.S. running this whole operation. Regime James Black Ops sending in troops. Okay, let's see here. Southeast Asia, covert sterilization. All right. 
This, this game is like unbelievably fucking based. Okay, let's see here. Delivers an 80% reduction to fossil fuels, energy, and industry emissions over 50 years. Uh, let's see here. I think drought and erosion and wildfire defenses make sense in Japan because they have all the uh, hurricanes and stuff like that. Uh, higher education program. I'm not going to sterilize China because China already has the one child policy. Let's see here. Honestly, convert to renewables kind of makes sense in China because China has the Three Gorges Dam and they're putting up a whole bunch of other stuff. Now wait till you, where you start to get blocky out the sun. Now that's base, TB on, TBH. Yeah, you can do that later on. Uh, let's see here, Russia. What should I do with Russia? I have nuclear, oil production. Uh, I will do, I think... I think I'll do coal-free. Let's see, advance uh, Europe. Uh, let's see here. I want a baby boom in Europe, because that's fucking based. But I'm also going to... Uh, I think commit to renewables here, I think makes sense. Uh, there we go. Fate of the world is greater than magic, greater than Pokemon, greater than Yu-Gi-Oh, greater than Metal Gear Acid. Okay, let's see your North America. Actually, I don't want CSS. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a baby boom in North America too. People may or may not guess what I'm doing in this game, but um, I I I I think you people are disgusting if you think I'm deliberately sterilizing particular areas of the world and incre encouraging population growth in other areas of the world. I think you people are disgusting, and it's it's you. It's not me. It's you who have those those ideas. Let's see here. The world has reached 1.5 degrees of warming over pre-industrial levels. Expect an increase in disasters and permanent regional change. Okay, let's see here. Forced migration, 12 million. Mars mission fails, all astronauts lost. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, let's see here. Political instability in North Africa. Fourth generation nuclear breakthrough. Okay, that's good. All right. Oh, okay, so because of regime change in Northern Africa, uh, support has increased by four points. Okay, so let's see here. Japan, I want Japan to have a baby boom because I want there to be more QT waifus. Let's see where's baby boom okay climate refugee center encourage migration to this region i bet it will fuck that let's see here um uh, okay go with that uh, let's see, what should I do for Russia? For Russia. I think I can acquire fourth generation nuclear, I think was the option that came up. Let me just see where that is. Uh, maybe I'm just missing it. Oh, okay, here we go. Acquire CS, uh, CCS. Robotics. Uh, I'm going to do another energy research program here. I'm going to turn off, because I think Russia has built enough oil at this point. I, I don't think I need to do more of it. Uh, let's see, I could do a political office, decline coal power. Uh, I'll just do that if it needs it for something else. I'm going to make a baby boom in North America. 
make America great again, make America a certain group again. Let's see here. I'm going to try reaching Mars again. Latin America. Uh, I don't think things are going too badly here. Uh, let me see. Is there some sort of uh, technological thing I can do here? No, I, I, oh, no, I said that I had, Latin America is not advanced enough for technology, so I'm not letting myself build it there. Um, hmm. Coal free industry. I think I'll do synthetic oil program there. Okay, so here we go, Middle East. Uh, let's see here. Relax borders. Let's see here. We're gonna. Um, I think unless is if Israel doesn't become multicultural, it cannot survive. So we're going to relax the borders in the Middle East. Uh, I think that's going to help everything out. Uh, let's see here. India. India is currently being stabilized. Um, okay, so India doesn't look like it's going very well. So we're going to uh, provide, so we're going to send in the troops to try to help out India. Um, to try to make India a better place. Uh, and I'm going to go with Deep Black Ops for South Africa. Oh, for North Africa, I lost one of them. Declare Martial Law. They literally have American troops. We must bring fighting in North Africa to an end. Uh, deploy security contractors to support local governments and bring the situation under control. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'll do that. Oceana. Uh, what do I have here? I guess I'll do CSCCS in case I need that for other technology. Okay, Internal security concerns. Master, regrettably, some emails relating to some of our more exceptional interventions are appearing on whistleblower websites. Further, such activities risk backlash against us. Literally, um, literally the DNC email leaks are part of this game. Okay, second generation biofuels. Okay, we're going to try for Mars again. Situation in Southern Africa, critical. Stratospheric aerosol breakthrough directors of geoengineering research project have announced that they have perfected the deployment of str st stratospheric sulfate aerosols a cheap but highly controversial technique to reflect the sun's rays back into space i don't think that there's anything that could possibly go wrong with doing that so we're going to do that let's see here Okay, SETI array. Where's the geoengineering? Is it under here? I'm trying to remember what it's under again. Okay, here we go. Acquire aerosol engineering. Fund North America uh, acquisition of aerosol geo uh, geoengineering. Okay, that sounds like a good... I don't think there's anything that could possibly go wrong with that. Uh, let's see here. Deploy sulfate aerosols. Okay, I'm going to do that. I think that's a good idea. I don't think there's anything that could go wrong with that. Uh, let's see. Oceana's okay. Um, what will make people happy here? Um, yeah, I think Environmental Protection Office is fine for there. Forget, did I do deep ops? Okay, so I'm kind of fucked here. Uh, so I'm just going to do regime change. I'm going to have a coup in India and maybe that'll help out. Uh, let's see, Southern Africa. 
Develop, deploy, develop bioweapons. Oh, I can use bioweapons in South Africa? Sweet. Okay, I'm going to go with a regime change there. Uh, let's see, Middle East. I think the Middle East needs more um, climate refugees. So we're going to... Let's see here. Where's encourage? I want to encourage more people to immigrate to the Middle East. I think that's a good idea. I think that's going to be the solution to all of their problems. Uh, let's see. You go with welfare. What's Russia up to? Russia seems to be unhappy with me. Uh, let's see what I can do to make Russia happier. Uh, okay, I guess that's good for a turn. Let's see where we're at. <laughs> Investigative journalists have figured out. Oh, okay, so we reached Mars. South Africa has exploded into armed uh, conflict. Security in Russia critical. Okay, so we got thrown out of India. So that's too bad. Okay, so Russia. Okay, so the coup succeeded in South Africa. So South Africa is now uh, loyal to my regime. So I'm going to develop bioweapons. Let's see, for Russia, I'm going to do... I'm going to send in international peacekeepers into Russia. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to get rid of commit to nuclear and go to fund black ops. Let's see here. Middle East. Uh, let's see here. Job sharing. Integration program. Speed up integration of refugees. Yep, we're definitely going to do that. Uh, okay, I'm just going to cheat and open it. Okay, Climate Refugee Center. Okay, so we're going to get them all to go there. Uh, let's see, how's Japan at the moment? Uh, Japan looks reasonably happy. We're directly lowering the temperature. And Japan's continuing to research technologies. Uh, China. Let's see, what are we going to do with China? Uh, I guess I'll open Environmental Protection Office there. Uh, let's see. What other options do I have? I'm going to say for North America. Uh, let's see here. Try to see if there's a way to block people from immigrating to North America. I thought that was an option. Maybe I'm just missing it out. Missing out on it. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Okay, uh, water management, I guess for this turn I'll introduce those. Oh, those in, okay, cool, okay, so I see what I need to do now. So I'll get rid of this. So these raise happiness, so so building the, um, the stuff that makes you, um, well, I am not being very coherent. So building the stuff that protects them actually increases happiness. Okay, that's good. So I don't want some of these countries to leave the program because I kind of need them to stay part of it. Uh, so in China, I'll introduce... Let's see. I don't really need a political office, baby boom, medical welfare program. I 
guess, produce second generation biofuels. Russia appears to be very unhappy with me. <clears throat> so I think I'll temporarily cancel that in favor of opening a welfare office here. Tight in borders. Okay, let's see here, Southern Africa. Okay, so we're gonna deploy bioweapons there and then that situation's gonna take care of itself. Um, I'll replace that with covert sterilization. And there's not really much else I can do there. All I can do is just try to drop the population. <clears throat> okay, so let's continue on and see where this goes. Oh, shit. Resource demands outpace supply. Global coal production is falling. Global oil production is falling. Uranium production is falling. Reports uh, aired has performed questionable and highly immoral actions. Let's see here. Bioweapon breakthrough. Okay, good. Okay, so happiness has fallen in a couple countries. Okay, so let's see here in South Africa. Uh, let's see, I can deploy. I can give them more money for dim programs, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna help them relocate to Israel. Okay, I'm starting to, like, lose this game, so I'm going to have to be a little more serious now if I don't want to, like, completely die, which I, I don't really want to, like, just completely collapse. Okay, declare martial law. Um, regime change in, China, in Russia. Okay, we're going to do regime change in Russia. Sorry, Putin, you're going to be replaced um, because of America. America. Uh, let's see, environmental protection. What's going on in China? Uh, global ban conventional oil, global ban, coal production. I don't I don't think I'm really at the place that I can um the spot where I can do that. Commit to renewables, deploy. I should get fusion power at some point in time. I don't know why I haven't gotten it yet. Reduce damage from climate. I could just ban shit globally. Um, hmm, global ban coal production. I think I'll just ban global uh, coal production. I think that there's nothing bad that could happen as a result of that. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see here about that. Latin America, I'll get rid of biochar. I need to try to make some of these countries like me a bit more or else I'm going to lose and I don't really want to lose. Uh, let's see here. Climate Refugee Center, covert sterilization. That's good. China. Um, I'll just do some policies to appease the China people for a turn. Uh, let's see here. I don't know how I'm running out of uranium, though. I didn't even think that, that was possible. I thought we had thousands of years of uranium left. So, like, I, I don't know how that's even a thing. Okay, so I'm going to use communist propaganda to make people want um, to go green more. I'm going to start deploying that. I think that'll help me out. 
Okay, Southern Africa. I'm gonna introduce another one here. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start using, I'm gonna start having like Hollywood movies promoting um, green policies throughout the world so that people will get on board with the green agenda. So I think that's a good idea. I think that nothing bad could happen as a result of that. Okay. I guess I don't really mind if Russians immigrate, so I'll let Russians immigrate. Um, I'll start an eco-awareness campaign there. Uh, let's see, Middle East. Okay, uh, Japan. I know in Japan I just have to continue researching shit. And then hopefully some of the stuff I'm researching will eventually pay off. Because really what I need is fusion power. Fusion power is going to be basically the thing that's going to fix all of this. A lot of this game is just surviving until you can get fusion power. Okay, and we're going to introduce propaganda there. Okay, so we've introduced propaganda to most of the world. Oh yeah, I have to do that in Southeast Asia too. Uh, actually, for Southeast Asia, I'm going to have to do some things to just make the people happy. Okay, so we're going to do some gives me that. Uh, we're going to do open environmental protection. What I'm saying at this point in time is the U.S. has just pumped up their uh, level of regime change uh, throughout the world to try to um, more uh, act, take a more active role in controlling places. Okay, so let's see here. So yeah, I did have the regime change in North Africa. So I'm going to say in North Africa, it's become a uh, satellite state of Europe. And the Europeans are just going to be able to impose whatever green policies they want on them. Okay, so let us go to the next turn. I think things are turning around for the world. Oh, wow. Okay. The global temperature has increased two degrees. Disproportionate growth in global finance. Oh, shit. No. No, not the global financial collapse. No, no not the global financial collapse. Fuck. Photovoltaic solar increase. Am I ever going to go back to the Enclave playthrough? Maybe. I don't think people really liked it that much. Globally ban coal. Okay, cards. So North America is unhappy with me because I banned coal. Well, that's too bad for them. Uh, let's see here. Environment. Was it photovoltaic cells here? Okay, I'm going to have to repeal the, the coal ban. That was really fucking stupid of me. Um, the global coal ban might have cost me this game. Okay, lift ban on coal. That was really stupid of me. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna... Okay, I'm gonna have to just go all out on Russia. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to send in some more American assistance. Southeast Asia. I'm going to have to go with just a full-on regime change in um, 
Southeast Asia, because things are just not going well there. In Oceania, okay. I'm going to go high yield crops. And I will increase maybe biotech research. Um, Japan is really unhappy with me for some reason. I don't know why. Because I've been giving them all kinds of shit. So. Maybe I'll cancel that so I can get photovoltaic. Uh, let's see. China is really unhappy with me. So I'm just going to build some like one-offs to try to get that. Uh, let's see. Middle East is happy with me. Uh, let's see. Okay, photovoltaic cells, uh, water program, North America. The other thing I need to do is I need to, I'll cancel the baby boom for now just because I, I need to do something to get rid of that. I'm going to, what was it again, what was it that I needed to do in North America? Um, hmm. something I was going to do here. I just, oh, okay. I'm going to go back to uh, just trying to artificially lower the world's temperature. Okay, so the coup succeeded in Southern Africa. So Southern Africa is now officially a um, U.S. protectorate, as is pretty much the rest of the world by this point in time. Let's see. Like, I hope you can see that even with me cheating, this game is still really hard. Like, I even with unlimited money, it's, it's like I'm still getting my ass kicked. Uh-oh. Methane release from Arctic sources is rapidly accelerating. It's making considerable contribution to climate change. Okay, the global economy has improved. Investigative journalist. The rhino went extinct. I got kicked out of Southeast Asia. Why, why am I getting kicked out of all of these countries? Like, what the fuck is going on? I'm probably going to lose this game. That's how fucking hard this game is. I can't even beat it using cheats. Like... Like, what kind of fucking nonsense is that? That it's so hard that even with unlimited money, I, I can't, like, get anywhere in it. Like, as I said, this is literally, like, the hardest... This is one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. Like, I I can't believe how difficult this is. Uh, okay, so we're going to directly lower the temperature in China. I'm just going to have to start, like, basically cheating at this point to try to get, like, get somewhere. Uh, let's see. High yield crops. Let's see, second generation of biofuels. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple one offs in Russia to hopefully improve the situation there. Uh, Climate Refugee Center. Educational enrollment. Okay, North Africa. 
Okay, I'm just gonna have to start really cheating if I wanna, like, not lose. Okay, let's see here. Northern Africa. I guess regional energy office, because there is oil there that I can harvest. Uh, security assistance, tightened borders. I guess I will impose. Uh, commitment to renewables there and I'll just build some other stuff Let's see I guess I'll open a technology office in North America I need to just continue doing research programs that's pretty much all I have have at this moment if I don't if I'm not able to do that then um, I'm fucked coal free industry to just get rid of some of these for the moment until I can uh, stabilize the situation. Declare martial law. Okay, we're going to send some more American soldiers in. Uh, people are not happy in Southern Africa, probably because they found out about my uh, sterilization program, which I don't really get why they'd be pissed off about that. I wouldn't think they'd like have the agency. To like even really understand what that is but i guess they do in this game so good enough i suppose ah uh, let's see here okay we'll implement higher education and uh i don't know oh they want wild okay oceana might kick me out political office why the fuck is Australia kicking me out I don't know it doesn't make any sense to me uh, let's see medical program baby boom uh, what's China doing I can't let China leave uh, Japan's not too bad the Middle East is okay because I did a regime change there. Russia is not in a good state. And I'll just do some other one-off. What can I do in Europe? I guess in Europe... Oh, hi, here we go. High-yield crops. I think that's pretty much everything I can do, so let us continue on. What? I, I'm using the direct thing that lowers the uh, temperature. Why are things getting worse? I don't get why it's getting worse. I'm directly lowering global temperature. I don't know. This game is fucking impossible. I've never been able to get anywhere in it. Oh. Deploy sulfate aerosols. Okay, Japan. Okay, deploy sulfate aerosols. Okay, good.
Yeah, we're just gonna have to deploy them globally. Just everywhere I possibly can. Uh, let's see, provide security assistance. Get rid of the eco-awareness campaign. We'll do some military intervention. A little military intervention never hurt anybody. That's what I like to say. That's, um, works for America. Uh, subsidize biochar, Russia. Okay, things have improved a bit in Russia. They're not quite as angry at me as they used to be. Super tensile, second generation, and I'll restart. Oh no, energy research is still going on there. Good. Uh, environment. Europe. North Africa. I guess smart grids, Southern Africa, I'm going to have to do more stability increases if I want to get anywhere. And what's going on in Latin America? I think Latin America is kind of not doing very well hmm oh no that's not the, the worst part of the world at the moment okay let's see here okay so let's see how bad we are things i think are heading into a total disaster yep things keep getting worse or maybe they're getting better Actually, wait, is it good if that's lower? Oh, no, that's good. Okay, no, because I want it to be under 2200. Okay, so that's a good thing. All right. I got kicked out of China? Why did I get kicked out of China? Oh, this game doesn't, like, explain anything. Like, I don't know why I got kicked out. It's it's not going to tell me why I got kicked out. Uh, let's see here. DSP is debunking seven years worth of slander right now. Wait a minute. DSP, is he streaming? Let me see. If DSP is streaming on Twitch, then fuck it. I'll stop playing this piece of garbage and we'll... Oh, man. Okay, you know what? We're going to stop this and then we're going to restart it. So uh, then we're going to see what, what Phil's doing. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute, guys.